are being lied to. I am being lied to. We are all being lied to all the time. And it's our governments doing the lying. Now, before you put your tinfoil hat on, hold on a second, because they are telling proper porky pies like this. Bigger than that, in fact. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about aliens. Now, yeah, I know what that sounds like. That sounds like I, I'm a conspiracy theorist, and I'm really, really not. I'm actually taking verifiable, reliable facts that they've released themselves like this. Or this. Or this. Or this. There's loads of stuff. And the fact is that this has been going on for at least 70 years, probably more. And the question is, are we still being lied to? Or are we being given the full facts? I don't think so. And the fact is that we probably wouldn't know the difference anyway. Even if we're given some facts, do we know whether those are true? <laughs> so in this video, we're going to be looking at some of this stuff and trying to work out why it is that we're being lied to. What is it that we're being kept from? Now, when Apollo 11 landed on the moon in 1969, and before you say they didn't, they probably did because they left a reflector on there that proves that at least something's up there, so whatever. But let's say that they did arrive on the moon in 1969. What's happened since? According to NASA, 12 people have been on the moon, have walked on the moon. Is that realistic? Ever since 1969, that seems a bit unusual. 51 years and 12 people have been up there? I know it's a long way, but why 12 people? Is it just so boring that no one ever thinks that it's worth going there? It's going to cost a lot of money to get up there. I'm pretty sure of that. But is there something else up there? Now, since Apollo 13 and the catastrophe having to be rescued by Apollo 14, I think, now if I've got my space history right, what about this Apollo 15 that was potentially cancelled and yet there's a lot of footage on YouTube that's got quite a lot of details that most people would never even realize every mission has their own badge I didn't know that until researching it and finding this badge here now the interesting thing is that if you look at this badge it's got some details on there that most human beings alive today would not even think about putting into a fake one so it makes you wonder whether or not this is a fake one then there's also some footage of a moon base that's been found on the moon by Apollo 15. And so if that badge is true, it might be that that footage is true. Now, given what's been coming out of NASA recently via Jim Green talking about life on Mars and Venus and possibly even the moon, given the US government statement about off-world vehicles not made on the Earth, go check it out yourself. Link's in the description. It's all out there. Then. Why should we not believe that there is a moon base? Why should we not believe that we are being lied to? But that's not just it. I'm not talking about, I think we're probably being lied to. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that we have been guaranteed at some point in the past. And the reason for that is that the US government in particular has said, no, there are definitely not aliens. No, it's swamp gas. It's a weather balloon. It's not aliens not aliens definitely definitely not aliens and then they say we've got alien vehicles <laughs> those two things can't exist at the same time can they hmm maybe there's aliens so these two things cannot exist at the same time so having aliens and knowing about ufos and not having aliens and not knowing about ufos those two things can't exist at the same time, and yet, now the US government have not only admitted that they have a UFO investigation group, I guess you'd call it, but they've also had this UFO investigation group for over 10 years. Hmm, suspicious. And then you start watching Coronation Street one evening with your gorgeous wife, <laughs> and suddenly you see an advert with a little snippet, and for copyright reasons I can't play the whole thing, a little snippet that goes something like this. Try protecting space. Possible satellite breakup. Get me the space operations center. Copy. Defending space. Defending space from what? Aliens don't exist. Do they? 
And now you look out there and you see a whole load of information, and it's not just me making it up, it's out there all over the place. There's CBS, NBC, ABC, BBC, lots of things with CC. Weird. There's New York Times, there's a Telegraph, Daily Star, Daily Mail, The Sun, it's all over the place. And interestingly, it's not just tabloids, there's The Guardian and The Telegraph as well. Broadsheet, newspapers, New York Times, The Wall Street Journal, maybe not The Wall Street Journal, I've not checked, but all of the others, it's definitely there. You can check them all out yourself, you can just Google it, or you can click on some of the links that I've linked down in the description of this video. Don't just take my word for it, go to whichever news outlet you trust and type in alien vehicles not made on this earth. Type in that exact quote because it is exactly what came out of the US government. You'll find that quote yourself, you'll find that they've admitted that they've got these vehicles and you'll also probably find that they have an announcement due to be made before the end of 2020. Whether or not that happens, who knows. But the fact is that these two things, having aliens and not having aliens, cannot exist at the same time. They can't. It's impossible. So at one point, either they lied then or they lied now, but they have not told the truth consistently. And this should worry people. So what can we really realistically do about it? Well, I would suggest the first thing that we need to stop doing is focusing on the stuff that does not matter. All this Harry and Meghan stuff, all this Kim Kardashian's new boobs or lips or whoever, I really don't care. Now, I've studied the media, I've got a degree in media, I know that the media is biased, and I know that the media is trying to control people. And I don't care if that makes me sound like a conspiracy theorist because it is absolutely true. Now I totally get that as I've got a camera in front of me that I'm looking directly at and two studio lights with a green screen, I am part of the media too. Why should you believe me? You shouldn't. Honestly, trust me, if you can, don't trust me. Because I've got my own agenda as to why I'm putting this out there. The fact that I'm admitting that to you and telling you to go and fact check everything hopefully will lead to a little bit more trust. But don't trust me. Go out, do your own research, find this stuff for yourself and make your own decision. I'm not going to tell you what to believe. All I am going to say is that a positive and a negative cancel each other out. That's simple maths. That's simple science. If you have matter and antimatter, you collide them, boof, they're just no longer there. If you have a truth and a lie, you combine them, generally, you get a lie. Now the thing about the governments is that we voted them in, in theory. I'm not going to get into that little minefield. But in theory, we did vote them in, so they should have our best interests at heart. They should tell us the truth. They should help us. They should be there for our betterment. We voted them in, into a position of trust and power. They should help us out. They should not lie to us. Unless, of course, that's for our own good. So the question is, what is this lie and why has it been done? And I guess even a bigger question is, why now are we starting to get little eeks out of this truth? We've had some photographs on the NASA website of quadrupeds and biped humanoid creatures. We've had announcements in various journals about a chemical that suggests that there is life on Venus. And now Jim Green says that there is life on Mars and probably on Venus. Well, yeah, I think it's probably on Venus too. Then you see video clips like this one taken by an amateur with their phone of the moon. What do you make of that? Those UFOs look exactly like official documentation that has come out of the US government. And here are the pictures for those. Now if you compare these images that were taken using someone's mobile phone with the images that have come out of the UFO division of the US government, and then combine that with the reports dating back decades of tic-tac shaped objects, they all match. If there is life on Mars, like Jim Green from NASA, who's pretty decent reliable witness, says, and there's life on Venus, as Jim Green says, why should there not be life on the moon? There probably is. Now whether or not they live there, or whether they use it as a base, I don't know. But think about this. 
The dark side of the moon is a much, much better place than the light side of the moon if you're going to build a moon base to get to other planets. That's where I would put it. I wouldn't put it where the pesky humans can see it. Now, whether these are aliens or just human beings from 1969 that never really left or went up there, who knows? What happened to the Challenger people? Now, I don't want to be disrespectful, but did that really blow up with people on board? Or was it a cover story so that they could go up there unnoticed? I don't know. These are all theories. Of course you can slam me in the comments. Please go ahead, I really don't mind. I've got a very thick skin. Of course, if you believe, like I believe, that we have been lied to, I don't know how much of what we have been told is now the truth. And I'm not saying that this is necessarily a bad thing, but it would be nice to know that we can trust our governments. And unfortunately, lies don't tend to do that. I'm talking about any relationship here. Lies are insidious, horrible things that erode trust among anyone. And once you've lost that trust, it's very, very, very difficult to get it back. Unfortunately, I'm of the opinion now that the only way to get this back is with a revolution. And I'm pretty sure that those people in charge do not want that. And frankly, nor do I really. I want a bit of stability. So please do let me know what you think of all of this. Please do comment down below. Click the like button as always, subscribe, ding that bell button to be notified, and I will see you again in the next video with some more magical awesomeness. But until next time, as always... Now since... Oh, I can't speak. But now you look out there and you see all of this information. It's not just me making it up. It's on the BBC. It's on CBS and CB, CBC, NBC, CBNB, American stuff. There's loads of New York Times. Oh, I'm going to try that again. CB, <laughs> Now I totally get that because I've got a camera in front of me and I'm talking directly to you. Hello. And I've got two studio lights and a green screen and that I'm... Now clearly they're not good stewards of this planet because they're killing this planet with a huge amount of pollution. We've had we've had an announcement in various medical not medical. We've had announcements in various journals about uh, what's it called. <laughs> Now if you combine these, if you compare the moving fit, uh, now if you compare these images that were taken in Mexico with the images that were taken, or not taken, I'm talking about any relationship here, the kids are screaming next door. Please subscribe to Real World Magic. While you're there, click the bell button to be notified of future uploads and have a look at all of my social stuff. Remember to donate on Patreon if you really, really liked it. And I'll see you again next week.